Hey, what is up everybody? It is AJ here and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to do a bare metal recovery on any Surface device. So a bare metal recovery is essentially restoring any Surface device back to the factory settings as if you're taking it out of the box for the first time. So why would you wanna do a bare metal recovery in the first place? Well, there's a number of reasons you might wanna do a bare metal recovery on your Surface device. The first might be that your Surface device isn't working correctly and you can't log into Windows, therefore you can't do any extra troubleshooting. If you do a bare metal recovery via a USB, you can actually bypass the Windows itself and reload it on there as if you're taking it out of the box for the first time. And that way you can start up your computer from scratch. The other reason may be that you've forgotten the password to your computer and you can't log in to actually do any troubleshooting. So a bare metal recovery again is gonna let you reinstall Windows for the first time. It could be that you've bought a laptop off eBay or Facebook or whatever it may be, and you might not trust the person that actually had given you the computer that you bought it from. And you know, a bare metal recovery is gonna completely wipe the drive and again, restore it back to factory settings. Or there could be any other reason you wanna do a bare metal recovery. Whatever your reason, this video is gonna show you exactly how to do it. There are a few things you're gonna to need to do a bare metal recovery on your Surface device. The first one is a USB with at least 16 gigs of RAM so you can load the image on there. The second thing you're gonna need is a working Windows computer. It doesn't have to be a Surface device, it just has to be a Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC. Of course, it's gonna be connected to the internet and you are gonna need your faulty or your problem Surface device that you are gonna restore. And once you have your internet connection, your working Windows device, your USB key, and of course your problem device, we can get straight into this. So let's actually jump on the computer and start downloading that BMR image. What we're gonna do first is go onto the Surface Recovery Image Download website. I'll put the link in the description down below so it's easy for you guys to access, but this is basically how you can download and access any Surface Recovery image for any Surface device. We're gonna scroll down and it's gonna tell us a bit about what we need, which of course is gonna be that USB with at least 16 gigs of memory. And what we do in step one is of course, select the Surface that we wanna recover. What you're gonna need here is of course the model. So for this example, we're actually gonna do a Surface Pro 7 Plus, and then you're gonna put in the serial number of your Surface device, and you're gonna hit continue. Once you hit continue, it's gonna bring you over to step two, which is where you're gonna download the Surface Recovery image. Some computers may actually have two or three versions of here, and that gives you a few different versions of uh, a factory image. It could be, say, a Windows 10 and a Windows 11 image. It could be an earlier and a later version of that recovery key. Um, select whichever one you're after. They're all gonna be the right one for your computer. In this instance, the Surface Pro 7 Plus only has one option, and then we're gonna simply select on download recovery image. I do wanna let you know that the recovery image will be around 10 gigs, so it will take a little bit of time to download, but that's okay, we just gotta be patient, and then once it's fully downloaded, we can move on to step three. So you can see in my downloads here that the Surface Pro 7 Plus BMR has downloaded. And what we're gonna do now is go into our start option and we're gonna type in the words recovery. You can see that we have the option of recovery drive and we're simply gonna select on recovery drive and open up this program. It's gonna open up and say, do you wanna allow the recovery media creator to open? And we're simply gonna go yes. And then it's gonna help us create a recovery drive. So you can leave the option ticked of backup system files to the recovery drive, and that's gonna back up your existing computer. But because we're gonna do this for a separate PC, we're simply gonna untick this. And then we're gonna go next. Give this a few seconds to load. And then it's gonna find all the external USB drives that are plugged into your computer. Of course, we only have the one USB, which is our 16 gig that we've plugged in. Makes it really easy to find when you only have the one plugged in and then we're gonna go next. What's gonna happen here is it's gonna prepare that USB drive to become a recovery USB for a Surface or a Windows device. And we're just gonna go next. We're gonna get another warning saying, hey, everything on this drive is gonna get deleted, so make sure you have a backup of it. If you're okay with that, then simply hit create, and then give it a few minutes to format that USB that you've plugged in. After a couple of minutes, it does say the recovery drive is ready, and we're simply gonna go finish. What you want to do now, I find it easier if you snap two file explorers side by side. So you can see on the left hand side, I have my general PC file explorer. On the right hand side, I have my downloads, which has the BMR inside of it. And I'm simply going to open up the recovery drive that it's formatted. And there's going to be two folders in here, the EFI and the sources. What we're going to do now is we're actually going to open up the Surface Pro 7 Plus BMR. You don't need to unzip this 
but we're just gonna double click and open everything up. And then we're just gonna control A, we're gonna select all of it and copy it and paste it over into that recovery USB drive. It will come to a point where it says, hey, there is already an existing folder called EFI and existing folder called an existing folder called sources. And what you wanna do is you wanna select on the option of replacing those drives. Uh, I'm right now using a USB-A, not a USB-C drive. So I might actually swap this out uh, just so it speeds up the process of copying this 10 gigs across. So that's another tip, make sure you're using a fast drive, otherwise you will be waiting quite a while to copy everything from the recovery onto that external USB. Once all the material from the BMI is saved onto the USB, you wanna grab your faulty Surface device. In this case, we have a Pro 7 Plus and you wanna do a soft reset or soft restart. To do that on the Pro 7 Plus, you wanna hold the power and the volume down button until it does a complete restart. So right now it's just on the, um, the loading screen or the, the screen saver. The screen's flashing once. I'll show you what happens in a second. The screen has just gone black. We're gonna keep holding the power and the volume down button. The Windows logo is going to appear in a couple of seconds. So there we go. We have the Windows logo on here. It will then start spinning. So you can see a preparation symbol down the bottom under the Windows logo in a couple of seconds. You wanna keep holding the power and the volume down button during this set, uh, during this option. It says, please wait, keep holding it, otherwise it will just launch, or try and launch into Windows. Please wait, it's loading, and now it's gonna go into the blue screen, and here we're now in our recovery option, and it says, um, it looks like your computer didn't start properly. You can hit the restart my computer option, that's just gonna try and restart and boot into Windows 10, but what you wanna do is actually go see advanced repair options. This is where we're gonna have to use the keyboard on here so we're just going to go to see advanced repair options and then we have the option of continuing or using a USB drive which is the second option down the bottom here of um, booting in a USB drive and restarting the computer so now I'm just going to plug in the USB to the drive and let's just focus on the computer for a second there we go and we're just going to go use a USB device to recover and then it's gonna ask us which device we wanna use. Internal storage is the, the hard drive on the computer. You don't wanna use that, you wanna use the second option which is USB storage, and we're simply gonna select USB. I do wanna note that if you are gonna do this, make sure your computer is plugged into power, because the last thing you want is the computer to do a restart and um, or do a install and run out of power during this process. But you can see here it is now trying to boot into the recovery mode, it's now pulling data from the USB and it's launching from the USB and it's starting the restall uh, process to do a bare metal recovery on your Surface device. You can see instead of going into Windows 10, it's actually loading down the bottom here. And now it's gonna ask us, we're basically in the restart options, it's gonna ask us to choose our language, so I'm gonna say English US. It's gonna ask us to choose our keyboard layout, so I'm gonna go again US. And then it's gonna ask us if we want to do a recovery from a drive or bring it to Windows, uh, go back to Windows 10 or start again from a USB drive. The option you wanna pick is the first option of recover from a drive. And this is gonna reinstall Windows from the recovery drive connected to the PC. That recovery drive, of course, is the USB here. So we're gonna select the first option, recover from a drive. And then you have the option of just removing your files. So select the first option if you're gonna keep your computer, or you can do a fully clean the drive. This takes a couple of hours, but this fully cleans all the data off the drive. And that's the option you wanna pick if you're gonna give your computer to somebody else. Because we're gonna keep this computer, we're just gonna go the first option of just remove my files and go select. And now we've started the option of recovering from the drive and it's getting things ready to reinstall Windows 10 or Windows 11 from the bare metal recovery. Um, of course, it gives us a warning here saying, if you do this, it cannot be undone. It's gonna delete all your information and your data. And if you're ready to proceed, hit the recover button, or if you want to, you can go cancel. I'm ready to proceed, so I'm just gonna hit recover and put this thing on charge. And you can see now, we are recovering this PC. It may take an hour, two hours, depending on your computer, but once this process starts, make sure you put your computer on charge and uh, just let it do its thing. So there you guys have it. That is how you do a bare metal recovery on any Surface device and restore it straight back to factory settings. 
I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, of course, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you want to supercharge the way you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.